Welcome to Christmas Eve and I really hope that you've all prepared for a great Christmas day. I know we can't do both a midnight communion this year and a service on Christmas morning due to Covid quarantine restrictions, but at least with this video tonight and the video crib service earlier, we are all showing that we as a community will not let the true meaning of Christmas go by unnoticed. And tonight we're at St Luke's in the Newport benefice of four churches and tomorrow we'll be at St Peter and St Paul's on the High Street. And this Christmas Eve we're now going to have a Christmas reading, a three minute reflection, some Christmas prayers and then the carol O Come All Ye Faithful which is beautifully sung and illustrated. So let's get on with the Bible reading for tonight now, read by Jenny Frost, the church warden for St Peter and St Paul's and St Luke's here on the Wolverton Road. A reading from Matthew 2, verses 1 to 12, the Magi visit the Messiah. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people, the chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed, on coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, the final carol in our series this week is O Come All Ye Faithful, which is a summons to a celebration. We're told to come and be joyful and triumphant. And after all, the Christmas season is a call to a party, a call to celebrate the good news of Jesus' birth. The wise men in the reading we're about which we've just heard, travelled a long way to celebrate Jesus' birth. They came from all over the place, from different cultures and races. They came to celebrate and bring gifts to Jesus and his family. They responded to the call of God to celebrate the good news about what God was offering the world, offering each one of us through God coming into the world, we are assured of a new way to think, a new way to be. We're assured of the forgiveness of sins, our spiritual debts and other debts paid off, the friendship of God, membership of his royal family for all who are or want to be baptised. What a privilege 
that God invites us all to be members of his royal household. And this is what Christmas is truly all about. This is worth celebrating. The wise men travelled a heck of a long way to be part of all this. What a birthday party we're celebrating on Christmas Day. Well, there are a few Herods in the world who just want to stay as they are and ignore all this. That's their choice. But I hope that even given our COVID limitations, we are going to pull out all the stops and celebrate as much as we can. That presence of Jesus is as alive today as it was 2,000 years ago. His presence will be with us long after the COVID virus has come and gone. I'm not going to go on for much longer because this is a time for celebration and not long sermons from vicars. So I leave you with a thought and suggestion. It's this. So often folk have this massive feast for Christmas. The food, the crackers, the wine, the fun and games and so on. But one thing can be missing. What? Well, it amazes me how we have the biggest birthday party of the year to celebrate Jesus' birthday, and yet so many don't even mention his name on Christmas Day. Wouldn't it be odd to have a birthday party for a family member, invite everybody along, spend a fortune, and yet, and yet not even mention the name of the person whose birthday it is? It'd be really strange, wouldn't it? And even stranger if the birthday boy or girl wasn't even invited. So include Jesus in his own birthday party today. Mention his name. I know that God will bless you for it and it will make it even more meaningful than normal. And it is a birthday party for someone after all. I know that this year we aren't allowed to have everyone around the table who would like to be there. So spare a prayer for them too, the Lord and those people who can't be with us. So here's my suggestion. Before tucking in today or pulling a single cracker, invite Jesus to his own birthday party in your home. Fill your glass with something and somebody propose a toast of thanks to God for his gift of Jesus to the world. You do this by simply raising your glasses and saying together, happy birthday Jesus, and may your presence be with all those who can't be with us today. Amen. And we're going to pray now and our prayers are led by Kim and Nichols who's an ordinand training to be a priest in Newport Pagnell. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. Through the power of the Spirit, let us pray for the people that child came to save. Heavenly Father, as we sit in the security of our homes on this most holy night, we pray for your church throughout the world. May she reveal the mystery of your love made manifest in a lowly stable. May the child laid in the straw be a reminder of the simplicity and truth of that first Christmas. On this most holy night, we pray for our government and all leaders. Grant them wisdom and discernment as they strive to protect us and our nation over this challenging festive period. And Father, we lift before you those parts of the world that seem to be forgotten because of the pandemic, and yet the tensions of famine, extreme poverty, war and unrest 
are as prevalent as ever. May the child laid in the straw be a reminder of the simplicity and hope of that first Christmas. On this most holy night, we pray for everyone separated from their loved ones. We hold before you and give thanks for all the NHS staff who will not be celebrating Christmas with their families, but caring for the sickest of patients. We ask, Father, that families and friends, for those separated physically, may be united in your presence. Fill us all with your everlasting love and peace. May the child laid in the straw be a reminder of the simplicity and the gift of peace at the first Christmas. On this most holy night, we pray for all who are suffering from isolation, coronavirus, or some other illness. We hold before you those who are awaiting surgery, delayed due to the pandemic. Pour upon them your healing touch that they may be strengthened and healed. May the child laid in the straw be a reminder of the simplicity of that first Christmas when he came in humility and met us in your son. On this most holy night, we remember and give thanks for those with whom we love, whom we love and see no more, but who are now drawn into your eternal glory. May the child in the straw be the reminder of what is at the heart of Christmas and brings us to share in the joy of your eternal kingdom. Heavenly Father, rejoicing in the birth of your Son, may we remember the simplicity of that first Christmas as we celebrate in simplicity this Christmas. Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So let us now sing along to O Come All Ye Faithful, the greatest birthday party invite of all time. <laughs> 